Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying the series. Let's move on to our next requirement. Let's see what requirement Rose has for today. She says, I want to open few applications using a batch script file. This is our user story number three. So let's see how this can be done, if the scripter can design it or not. So first thing, let's open a new notepad file. And first thing, let's save us. I have made a small change here. Instead of writing that number at the end, you remember how we were making those formats. So I'll say, because if you keep it at the end, uh, it will not come in serial orders, right? So I'm putting the number at the beginning and then writing it. So I will say open application this is anyone who is very new this is just uh, how we started the very first video how to save the batch files this is just in format you can follow your own format or however you like to give it a name doesn't matter so i'll simply say dot bat and then i'm going to hit on save it okay so done now let's start coding so first thing is echo and then i'll keep it off the next thing we will say title uh, we'll give the same name uh, 03 underscore open applications okay um, done and then what we will do next thing we have to open few applications so let's take few examples let's say let's go with notepad.exe uh, let's say you can also write notepad even that will work okay give it a try and um, uh, what else let's say msh okay a lot write exe this will also get uh, recognized uh, let let me open paint okay and then we will say exit just to exit out of everything okay uh, we are not using any pause here i don't want to see that black window let it just execute all right now let's save it let's save it and now let's see if it is running there is an error okay there's an error that i have made i'll let you know if you are able to detect that error please comment what is the error I have made? Okay, so let me hit on open application and you can see uh, the edge has opened fine. Okay, and there's an error here. Windows cannot find paint. Okay, all right. And then the untitled uh, notepad also has opened for me. So three things, have, two things has opened, one thing has failed. What is that? MS Paint has failed. So why it has failed? Okay, we'll find that out. So simply say paint. And then let's right click. If you see open file location, click on it or properties, click on it. So I came here and this is a shortcut. This is not exactly the exe file. So for every application that you want to open, just check that if this kind of problem is happening, then right click and I'm going to hit on properties. Okay, properties. So here you see this is the exact path given. Copy, let's go to the notepad and simply paste it here. So what is the exe name? It's actually mspain.exe. So simply you can say start mspain.exe. It will work. Okay. For example, if you type, it'll anyways it will work. Now uh, here, what is this uh, uh, percentage win directory? Do you know what is what exactly is this? So what you do? Copy this and then uh, go to uh, you know open file explorer and paste it here and hit on enter. So what would happen? This is nothing but that Windows dir is nothing but Windows system. You know, it is C drive Windows. That is the Windows directory. Okay, the one which says uh, Win is nothing but C drive slash Windows. Okay, that is the directory name. So that is the shortcut way of you know writing in Windows operating system. So what I am going to do? I'll copy this exact path. Okay. So first, let's try this. Okay, slash D, and then I am going to say something like this Let's give it a space and save it is it going to work if you feel it's going to work then comment so if i run it okay it has worked many times you also will find a little bit of challenge sometimes it may not even run if that happens what you do you put the fully qualified address c drive window system 32 this is also going to work so let me open, save and run it so you can see Paint has come, uh, uh, Edge has opened and then Notepad also has opened. Okay, pretty simple code. So I hope you saved it. Now we have got how many scripts we have created? 
three scripts by now. So let's continue on to the next video.